up, y'all? So, I'm on a very, very brief adventure to the local Walmart. So, you guys are going along with me for the ride. I keep looking back, but, like, I have, like, the, the camera shit that shows you where you're going. It's actually kind of cool as fuck. Kind of cool. Um, shit. <laughs> this might not work. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to Walmart. Let's start over one more time to get uh, a detergent because I need to wash my clothes and uh, a tape measure because I, I got a laser and I got a wheel because you, you have to measure the dimensions of the houses uh, but you know a, a laser isn't so great from really super long distances because you can't see the pinpoint on something you know 200 feet away Ooh. And, like even for me like because I'm blind as fuck I can't see shit from like, you know, 30 feet away because the laser, like the pinpoint is like tiny, it's fucking tiny and so it's really hard to see and it doesn't work all that well when it's really, really sunny out and it's always sunny out, so. Uh, what else? Witch hazel. Getting witch hazel for my fucking butthole because I have a hemorrhoid. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny because like, I just thought I had like a bad poop because uh, that happens. That happens that happens um but yeah no it was no 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 and it's actually not super uncomfortable like whenever i hear about people getting hemorrhoids they're like in agony all the fucking time and i'm chilling it feels like uh like slight pressure that's that's what it feels like feels like after you've had butt sex how your butthole feels <laughs> uh i speak from experience but yeah it's not it's not that bad at all so yeah here's the walmart i'm really close to it which is nice i'm just gonna park wherever i don't i don't give a shit anymore i don't care okay so i got all my shit i'm feeling all right about this endeavor um, the only problem is, I, uh, I'm running low on money, and I haven't gotten paid yet, and I haven't got my per diem yet. So, uh, what per diem is, I don't know if I said it or not yet, but per diem is the amount of money, um, based on the state that you're in, uh, required to live an entire day. And so, you get one per diem per day. Uh, and here in Louisiana, the per diem is $56, so $56 a day to get meals, you know, any incidentals or anything. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Um, for hotel, I think it's like $90, but yeah, you can super easily look it up. It's just, you know, per diem and then state. Um, and yeah but my per diem has not come in for you know the entirety of my time and uh it's kind of a problem <laughs> because i have like well i spent twenty dollars so i have like fifty dollars to my name currently fuck <laughs> fuck so if i have anything else that i need to get for my job uh that's over fifty dollars i'm not gonna be able to afford it um and i can i can buy it with my um government issued card but i need to account for it in my voucher and i also need to um give it back to them if i get like any equipment at the end of my deployment i need to give it back to them i'm having issues because I know for certain that I was not on the payroll, or at least I didn't have a payroll like online account. So I don't know how that's gonna fucking work. Cause I know like, you know, bureaucracy is just, everything takes forever to get done. And while the people here are pretty good, um, I don't know, it just takes a while to process everything and to get clearance and all that shit. It's, oh, it's dumb. This is it's dumb. So, um, I'm gonna go in, 
uh, wash some clothes, work out, look back at my um, files to see if I got any more work. Um, it's looking like today might be a slow day because uh, I was, I guess, one of the lucky ones where I got a file and I worked that file with my um, ride-along partner and, uh, yeah, you remember him. Uh, <laughs> I worked that file with my ride-along partner and then I got another one. Uh, a lot of people haven't even gotten one, so I, I, I am lucky in that respect because um, the way that this job works is, you know, your productivity is, it's like, what have you done for me lately kind of situation. So if you don't have anything to offer, if, you, if you're not showing that you're being productive, then they will drop you. And it's not necessarily that, um, I mean, they're aware that there's, you know, a low amount of work coming in, but if there's not enough work for the people that are, you know, hanging out and getting money for, you know, not really doing anything, then they'll start to lay people off because, you know, it's just excess. It's just people that you don't need around. And so I would say within the next two weeks, maybe, um, maybe even a week, uh, we'll see a lot of people applying and there'll be more inspections, there'll be more work for everyone that's here. Um, for the moment, it's at a lull. Yeah, so I'll um, update later. I've got a low-key day today. <laughs>